dividing fractions. Any two numbers with a product of 1 are called reciprocals. Look at this fraction, 1 over 2 or half. Half has a reciprocal which is 2. So here, as you see, it's 1 over 2, the fraction, and the reciprocal is 2, which is or originally is 2 over 1 as a fraction. So as you see here, the numerator was 1 and the denominator was 2. Here, the reciprocal is the opposite, where the 2, where it was the denominator, it became here the numerator, and the opposite 1 was the numerator, it became the denominator. So here is the reciprocal, which is the opposite of the fraction, or the inverse of the fraction. So the product of the fraction, which is 1 over 2 times 2 over 1, which is its reciprocal, is equal to 1. Let's see another example. If I have a fraction like 2 thirds, what is its reciprocal? Again, here 3 is the denominator. I put it here as the numerator. And 2 is the numerator. I'll put it here as the denominator. So it's 3 over 2. So I will write here the product of the fraction 2 thirds multiplied by 3 over 2. We have 2 thirds times 3 over 2. 3 will be cancelled with 3, 1. And 2 with 2, also 1. So the answer is also 1. So the product of any number, or, or sorry, any fraction and its reciprocal is always equal to 1. To divide a fraction, to divide a whole number by a fraction, we multiply by its reciprocal. Here, an, here is an example, 2 divided by 1 third. Find the quotient and write it in simplest form. We will write it as, the 2 we will write it as 2 over 1. The division, this is how we divide. The division is transformed into multiplication and the fraction after the division, we write its reciprocal. And here is 2 times 3 over 1 times 1 equal 6 over 1, which is equal to 6. So, division of a fraction is like multiplication, multiplication by its reciprocal. So, remember this rule. So, to divide by a fraction means we multiply by its reciprocal. Another example. At summer camp, the duration of a field hockey game is three quarter an hour. The camp cons counselors have set aside six hours for field hockey games. How many games can be played? So, as you see here, we have six hours to be divided on three quarters for each game. So to do this, we will write 6 as a fraction, as 6 over 1, and the division we do it as multiplication, and 3 quarters we write its reciprocal as like this. And now we can multiply 6 times 4 over 1 times 3. Look here, if we can cancel a number from the numerator with a number from the denominator, it will make it easy to multiply and divide. 6 and 3 has a common factor, which is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 6 divided by 3 is 2. 2 times 4 is 8 over 1, and this is equal to 8. So here, how many games can be played? It will be 8 games. Example 2. Find half times 1 third, and write it in simplest form. We will do it like this. Half, the division will be multiply, and the reciprocal of the second fraction will be like this. Here is 1 times 3 over 2 times 1. The numerator is 3 and the denominator is 2. We can do it also. We don't leave it as improper fraction because this is improper fraction. And remember, improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is greater than the denominator. To do this, as we write it in mixed number, we can do here we can do long division, 3 divided by 2 equals 1, 1 times 2 is 2, and the remainder is 1. 
so here will be the whole number part and this will be the numerator and the denominator is as it is so this would be one and a half find 5 over 7 divided by 10 and write it in simplest form okay 5 over 7 we don't change it the division will be changed into multiplication and 10 which is 10 over 1 we write it, it's a reciprocal which is 1 over 10 now we can multiply the numerators together and the denominators together again we have a common factor between 5 up and 10 down which is 5 5 divided 5 equals 1 and 10 divided 5 equals 2 1 times 1 is 1 and 7 times 2 is 14 and of course this is already in the simplest form another example Ramon is making party favors he is dividing 3 quarter pound of almonds into 12 packages write and solve an equation to find how many pounds of almonds are in each package so we are dividing 3 quarter pound on 12 packages like this so we divide 3 quarters we change the division into multiplication and we change 12 which is 12 over 1 we change it as over 1 over 12 now multiply numerators over multiply denominators again ask yourself do we have any common factor between the numerators and the denominators yes we have the common factor between 3 and 12 is 3 so 3 divided 3 equal 1 and 12 divided 3 equal 4 now 1 times 1 is 1 and 4 times 4 is 16 and of course this is the simplest form okay so this is 1 over 16 pounds to divide a mixed number to divide a mixed number by another mixed number change both mixed numbers to improper fractions then remember to simplify before you multiply as here you see in this example we have two mixed numbers divided by each other to do div division we first write the mixed number as an improper fraction remember how do we do this we multiply 5 times 2 we multiply the whole number times the denominator and what we get we add it to the numerator so 5 times 2 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 over 2 and we write div divided as it is now we change this mixed number into improper fraction 2 times 2 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 over 2 now you have two fractions divided by each other so follow the same steps as before so 11 over 2 we don't change we change the division into multiplication and we get the reciprocal of 5 over 2 which is 2 over 5 now 11 times 2 and 2 times 5 do we have any common factor between numerators and denominators yes we have 2 and 2 each one divided by 2 equal 1 so this would be 11 over 5 11 over 5 is again an improper fraction we can write it as a mixed number to do this we do it as long division divided by 5 11 divided by 5 is 2 10 and remainder 1 so this is equal to 2 and 1 over 5 find 4 2 over 3 divided by 1 and 3 quarters again we will multiply 4 times 3 and we add it to 2 to make it impro to make it improper fraction this is 12 plus 2 is 14 over 3 and divided i'll write it now as it is 1 times 4 is 4 plus 3 is 7 over 4 okay now 14 over 3 we don't change it change division into multiplication change this fraction into its reciprocal and then multiply 14 times 4 over 3 times 7 here we have a common factor between 14 and 7 which is 7 7 divided 7 equal 1 14 divided 7 equals 2 this would be 2 times 4 is 8 over 3 times 1 is 3 
again this is improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator so we can write it as a mixed number by using long division 8 divided by 3 equals 2 2 times 3 is 6 remainder 2 so the answer would be 2 and 2 third the last example the average adult male giant panda weighs about one and one fifth times as much as the average adult female. If the average weight of a male giant panda is 330 pounds, how much does the average female? To do this, we will, we will multiply, we will divide 330 divided by one and one fifth. First, we will change this into improper fraction because it's a mixed number so I will write it again as division by 1 times 5 is 5 plus 1 6 over 5 now this will be equal 330 I will write it as a fraction divided by 1 or over 1 multiplied by the reciprocal of 6 over 5 which is 5 over 6 okay now so we will multiply numerators 330 times 5 over 1 times 6 330 divided by 6 we can divide both of them by 6 because 6 is a common factor so 6 divided 6 equal 1 330 divided 6 let's do it here 330 divided by 6 equal 5 30 subtract bring down 0 this is 55 this is 30 and no remainder so this is 55 after you divide by the common factor 6. So now 55 times 5, let us do it here. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry up to 5 times 5 is 25. Again, plus 2, 27. And down here we get 1. So it's equal to 275 pounds. So if the male panda weighs 330 pounds, the female panda will, will weigh 275 pounds. Hope you understand. Please subscribe and like the video. To the next video. Bye.